Welcome back to Angie and Cleaning and Life Hacks. Today I'm gonna to show you how to cut an onion five ways like a pro when you're not a pro. Here's what we're gonna do. In order to keep your cutting board from sliding, what I like to do is take a little bit of water. We're gonna to get to this big bucket here in just a second. And you're gonna place it underneath your cutting board. And then I like to take a kitchen towel. That way it's got a grip. It's not gonna slip on you and then place your cutting board on top. This is good. Now when I'm starting and cutting my onions, I like to cut the ends off. You can see right here, ends off. I find this to be the easiest way. Then I just like to take the outside of the onion right here and take off this little extra kind of fluffy skin that you see right here. You don't wanna eat that stuff. Also make sure that your knife is sharp. This is gonna save you a lot of time and it's also gonna be safer. You know when your eyes water when you cut onions, it's because of the sulfur in the onion. So you could freeze your onion for seven to eight minutes before you wanna cut it. But generally speaking, who has that kind of time? When you're ready to cut the onion, you're ready to cut the onion. So what I like to do is just put it in a bath right here of just plain water and let that sit for just a moment. That is good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and take my onion off here. I'm just gonna use my kitchen towel wipe that off there serves a multi-purpose right now okay first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this onion in half i've already taken the ends off if you want to make slices on your onion you can either make them vertical or horizontal depending upon how big that you want them what i like to do is use my knuckles as a guide so that i do not chop off my finger now you can do really thick cuts you can do really thin cuts it just depends upon whatever recipe that you're going to want to use when it comes to slicing your onion and you can see right here i have these nice little slices of varying sizes and varying thickness you can do the exact same thing this direction as well chopping this is the most time consuming but often the most widely used especially if you don't have one of those nice choppers on hand so here's a little trick you can start either direction horizontal or vertically and what you're going to do is you're going to make little cuts again you're going to leave a little bit of the end right here you see i'm not cutting all the way through Little cuts like this, you wanna keep the onion attached. That's the goal. You can see here I'm also a lefty, so if things look a little funny, that is why. So make these as thick or as thin as you want. Generally, when you are chopping, you wanna make sure that it's nice and thin for you. There we go. This is great because the onion is still attached, and then you're just gonna flip your onion around, and again, you're gonna go down and chop as thick as you want those slices right here. You can see, so this is about Oh, uh, yay big, if you can take a peek at that. These are great on hot dogs or other barbecue things. If you wanna make these even smaller, here's a little trick for you that I like to use. You can use the rocking motion. Hold down the end of the blade right here and go back and forth, back and forth. That water soak was amazing, I am telling you, because my eyes are not watering at all. There you go. There you have some nice onions that were chopped. Now they're diced. Let's talk about a fancy dicing technique. I'm just gonna go ahead and use half of this onion to demonstrate for you. Now again, we're gonna cut down the onion, leaving a little bit of the end fully there because we're gonna need to flip the side here in just a second, making those cuts as thick or as thin as you would like, depending upon what you are going to be making all the way to the end. Make sure that you have a good grip on that onion. Sometimes slices will slide out like you can see right there. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and flip my onion around. I'm gonna turn sideways so that you can see, but you wanna make little cuts in the opposite direction like so, carefully pulling your blade out. This is not my favorite technique when it comes to cutting onions, especially if you are not a true pro. As you can see right here, I'm having a little bit of struggle depending upon the thickness of the onion. And then you come back and then you cut like this in order to get your dices. This is not my favorite strategy. We're gonna give that one more try right here, cutting down with my knife, again, leaving a little bit of the end intact going in like so and then we'll flip our onion around i have longer nails so it makes it a little bit trickier don't saw your finger this side is working a little bit better staying a little bit more intact as you can see right there and then what you do is go ahead and go in cut down and you can see how tiny 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 these little slices are just like that. Last but not least, one of my favorite cuts when it comes to onions that I often like to use on lots of grilling things, not hot dogs in particular. I'm just gonna cut this in half 
and then take this little layer off. I got a little excited. I did not need to cut my onion in half. I recently made some cowboy caviar. Let us know in the comments box below if you've ever made that for a barbecue that I hosted. Do not cut your onion in half if you are wanting to make a ring, but that's okay. We're gonna easily put it back together right here and I will show you exactly what I mean. We can repair our ring, but this is one of my favorite things to put on hamburgers and cheeseburgers and all those lovely things. So then you have a nice ring. If you cut your onion in half, then you're gonna have half rings. But if you want nice full rings for, let's say, onion rings, then all you need to do is keep that onion whole, peel it, cut off the ends, and make your slices. If you're looking for the fastest way to peel a potato without a peeler, click the video on screen now, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.